Buckle up, kids. Here we go with another episode of Trippy Food Today. I am in Sudbury, Massachusetts, and I am here for the famous historic Sky Bar. And that might sound, you know, a little unusual. Some people are like, well, you went all the way to Sudbury, Massachusetts for a candy bar. But this is a historic candy bar because this used to be made by Necco, yep. New England Confectionery Company. Yep. And uh, Necco went out of business, what, what year was that? Uh, they went out in 2018. 2018, but here they have, just, they have rebirthed the Sky Bar. And I'm speaking with whom? Uh, Frank Mooney. Frank, yeah. and uh, and your mother was the one that that, that My started. My mom Louise. Yep, yeah, she was the one that uh, she took the plunge. She purchased the the rights to the candy bar, and now we're making it here. Okay, so so they started making Sky Bar when? We started. Uh, well, I mean, originally the original Sky Bar was started in 1938, mm -hmm. and um, they adjusted the recipe throughout the years. Um, you know, it's always pretty much been. The caramel, the nougat, the peanut, and the fudge. Uh, the in that particular order. In that order. Which I guess we should, we're showing up here, right? right yeah. the... um, but they have, uh, they kind of changed the recipe, they kind of changed what they called it over the years. Um, you don't remember the song from, I think it was the 1960s, 1970s, I they had did. a Sky Bar song yeah. on, on television? I've had, yeah, we've had a couple customers come in, they remember it fondly, and they sung it to us. Yeah, so, so the one I remember was, it goes, uh, the caramel bar is connected to the vanilla bar, the vanilla bar is connected to the peanut bar, the peanut bar is connected to the fudge bar, and then there's an, a line at the end that I can't recall, <laughs> but, uh, but it was something along those lines. So. Yeah. Uh, so which recipe did you go did you go by if the recipes changed? So we went back to a more 1970s era recipe. So the chocolate is richer, it's creamier, it's more similar to a European style chocolate. Um, the caramel is richer. We're now using Teddy Peanut butter. Oh wow! Oh you yeah, from Everett. You from Everett? Oh yeah. Okay. A, a great group of people over there. I, you know, I make the rundown to grab the peanut for it. Um, we're using. Well, you, you keep adding in New England. We're trying. We. Right off the bat, we want to keep it as much in Massachusetts as possible. Wait, wait, possibly. you're using marshmallow fluff and teddy peanut and butter. Teddy so, peanut so essentially, there's a fluffernutter in the middle of there's this. There's absolutely <laughs> fluffernutter in the middle of this. We, the only thing you're missing is the bread. I know, I know. Well, we did, uh, when we were practicing the recipe, we did take some of the peanut center and some of the marshmallow center and make ourselves some fluff wow. And it was delicious. It was absolutely fantastic. So so what you could do is you could take this bar, break off the two end pieces, take the middle piece, and make a, make a fluffernutter s'more. You absolutely could. That would be fantastic. So now, now, like people can't go to like a Rocket Fizz or someplace like that and get the Sky Bar. They can only get it from you. They can only get it from us right now. Uh, we are going to be going for our wholesale license this year, and then we'll be able to distribute. So it. if somebody wants, if somebody right now has a craving for a Sky Bar and they want to get it, they can get it from you online. Yep, yeah, they can go to the website skybarcandy.com, um, or they can call. Uh, Sky Bar here, 978-443-7533, or uh, Duck Soup, which is also owned by Louise, and that's 978-443-3825. And you're, you're making the candy bars here on site? We are absolutely making the candy bars here on site. Would you like to see the equipment? I would love to see the equipment. Let's go see the equipment. Alright, I do have one important question. Absolutely. Do I get to keep the hair now? Absolutely. All right, so, so this is where the magic happens. Yes. All right, and, and so what are we looking at exactly? So we can do, so we could max out at about 2,000 to 2,400 bars per run. Wow. Um, and we can do, you know, if we really get going, we really tank them out, we'll probably do about two, maybe three runs per day. And then on the wrapping machine, uh, we can wrap about 40 bars a day. Wow. So your, your line starts here? Yep. So we, uh, so this area is where we uh, put together the ingredients, we cook the centers together, blend everything together. Uh, from there, we go over the molding line. So we have these tanks right here. These are the center tanks. So in here, you have your peanut butter. You know, we can take a little bit oh, of wow. yeah. Yeah. The Everything we blend together at the proper heat. Hoses pump it right up into the. And you have four hoses, one for each flavor. One for each flavor, and then we have a fifth one coming in from the chocolate, so the chocolate hopper. Um, stack the molds in that hopper right there. This is a uh, heater, it heats the molds up to proper temperature because if the, you really want the four centers 
and the chocolate and the molds pretty much be the exact same temperature. Otherwise, you run into problems with the chocolate foam out of temper. It's not going to snap right. It's not going to look right. Sure. So, flows through the heater, comes down to the conveyor belt. This is the actual deposit. Uh, and this is a one shot deposit. So, if you imagine like a filled Hershey case, it's kind of what it comes out with. It's a shell of chocolate in the center underneath. So, that continues to flow through. This is um, uh, an oscillator and vibrator. The oscillator shakes it, evens out the chocolate, the vibration, uh, any bubbles in there, so it goes to bring it to the surface and pop it. And then we have one person sitting at the end to catch the trace as they come across. When you fill up a wrap, it goes right into here. There's a beautiful custom built fridge. You let it cool for about an hour and a half or so, and then we move over to the wrapping machine over there. So this is the wrapping machine. It goes through at uh, 40 bars per minute. Uh, we've got the water cart here. This is what we, this is what feeds the boats through that the bars sit on. They need the boats because each individual section thin piece in the middle. That's that little cardboard they thing. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So usually what we have is we have uh, two people on this side. They, we're the ones that are actually manually putting the bars into the boat. And then you have one person at the very end catching the bars as they come through. And if you know the Lucy episode, wow, yeah. sometimes, <laughs> I know the first time uh, I was back there and I was trying it, but what immediately went through my mind was, how is anybody going to be able to do this at 40 minutes? So, but get the hang of it. You get the hang of it. Yeah, the practice really makes a difference. Yeah. But it's just so great that, like I said, you, you, you took something that was going to, you know, a little piece of history that was going to disappear and, yeah. and brought it back to life. It is. And uh, we're the only Massachusetts company that will save anything. Well, awesome. Thanks for showing me the equipment. All right, you're very welcome. Thank you. All right, so so the proof is in the pudding, right? Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna eat this. We're gonna try this, and then we can let people know. Like for instance, if this was really big on the East Coast, yeah. not so much on the West Coast and other yeah. places, right? So so people out in the West Coast, they go, well, it's a little bit of nostalgia. What does it taste like? And yeah. everything. So we'll kind of let them know. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me honestly, was there an order that you were supposed to eat these in? Everybody had their own order. Uh, we had uh, people who prefer, you know, love the caramel, we eat the caramel first. You know, other people would be like fans of the peanut butter, so you wear the peanuts for last. So when you when you open this up, yep. what you're looking at is four bars, right? Yeah. Or four little four little separated bars. Yep. Right. So you can't really tell which one's which. So you could be, if you start here, you could be starting from the budget, end, or you could be starting from the caramel. Exactly. Yeah. But you'll know once you get started. Yeah. You know, once you, you know. know. Exactly. All right. So we're gonna break off our first piece. Take a bite. This looks like caramel. Mm. I got caramel. Oh, caramel. <laughs> mm. And the thing about caramel, I'm not a big fan of caramel mm -hmm. because sometimes it can be like overly sweet. And this is really creamy. It's really creamy. Yeah. Well, you know, again, we tried to keep the flavor as clean and natural as possible. And it's a nice chocolate. It's a nice firm chocolate. Mm-hmm. So that's the camera. We're going to follow that up with whatever next in line is. We'll leave it in the nougat. Very gooey. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it is. You can't eat a lot of these. No. Although you have one, then you want another one immediately after. <laughs> and then we get when we come to the the peanut. The this is this is my favorite. I love the peanut. That would make a really good s'more. I mean, the yeah, whole bar. The whole bar. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I feel like a kid again. <laughs> I feel like I'm ten years old. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So there's so much there's an adventure in here. Oh, yeah. There's suspense because you have to mm -hmm. figure out which one right. you're getting in it. Right. And, and 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 there's a different taste mm -hmm. in each one of them. That is oh, awesome. Thank you. 
If you can't make it out to Sudbury, mm -hmm. you can get these online, but these are sky bars, and all intents and purposes, these yeah. are the original sky bars. Those are the yeah. bars, yeah. So, Sudbury, Massachusetts, it is the... What, sky Bar Confectionery. Company. Sky Bar Confectionery area. We'll have a link at the end so you'll be able to go to the website. You'll be able to uh, get those. Bring you back a little bit of history, and thank you for your time. Well, thank you very much. Okay, we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.